In this video, I'll show you how to configure your Power Apps Grid uh, to behave uh, in an editable fashion. Now you can configure a grid to uh, edit the content on the fly. Now I'll give you an example. Now this is a model driven app which I've already created. Now as you see over here, this is a simple list which lists down all the airlines. So this is one of the table. Now if I want to edit say one of the item, I'll just click on one of the item. I'll open the item and then I will just uh, type in uh, the information over here. Okay. And then I'll just go ahead and save the information. So I'll click on save and then it will take me uh, back to the interface and then those enter will be saved. Now, wouldn't it be nice if I just click on over here and type in the information instead of going inside the record. Okay. So I want something called as inline editing. Now that is all possible you can just if you see this item show as you can just click on show as and click on editable grid now in editable grid you have an option to make that change so i'll just say i'll just click over here and then i'll just type in the item over here okay and it has made that change i have an option to expand it uh, i can just edit it over here just by double clicking and then navigating to record but uh, the whole purpose is to uh, make that changes over here right in the uh, inline section so so i'll make this change so i have made the change in the text field the multi-line field and even in the drop down i can make that changes okay so this is a multi-select drop down so i'll just select uh, items over here and once i click out this information will be saved okay now this is auto save but there is a way where you can save the record manually now if you see over here this item there is a save button okay now let me make some change okay and then the save button will be activated so if i just edit over here now as you see the save button is activated now i will just type in something and then i have an option to save this as well or alternatively if i just tab out it will automatically save the record as auto save is enabled it allows you to uh, change various other things now there is a drop down so i can change this drop down and even i can perform some other operations now how do we enable this okay now this is this was enabled this i enabled it manually over here but how do we enable this so the whole goal of this exercise is how do we enable the uh, the grid now in airlines i see this option show as but let's go into one of the other options like aircraft models now in aircraft models i don't see this information right now how do we enable the editable grid now in order to enable the editable grid let's first uh, go into uh, the solution so i've already created a solution uh, you can create a simple solution add that corresponding table now i have the stable airline score solution uh, so which has tables of uh, airlines aircraft model and so on and so forth so the goal is to have this option over here so pick up aircraft model so i'll go into the aircraft model over here uh, and i will start making that changes so in aircraft model now as you see over here i can either go into the form or i can go into the views okay now if you want to make uh, a change uh, within that particular grid interface you need to go at a solution level now in order to go at a solution level let's go back to the solution over here click on three dots and now we can switch to classic so let's go into the classic interface because through classic interface we'll be able to uh, update those items now if i go into entities on the left hand side i can see various tables we are interested in aircraft model let's click on aircraft model and aircraft model entity or the table will get displayed now there are various settings which you can configure but we are interested in the controls so let's see the controls now this is a read only grid which is available for the web phone and tablet interface now if i go into the view over here this is the read only grid so i can view the record but i cannot perform any operations now in order to configure the grid what i'll do i'll click on add a control now here in add a control i get an option i can uh, see there is a read only grid which is the currently available read only grid then we have attachments control calendar 
card feed name and then we have editable grid also we have other options power apps grid control read only grid and so on and so forth let's click on editable grid and add this and now we can make this as a default for web but for phone and tablet we can keep read only grid or alternatively we can uh, change accordingly now editable grid is not available in phone uh, so it is not available so you cannot make any change but for tablet yes it is there so you can make that change now when you click on editable grid you have an option to configure other parameters okay which i'm not going to show you now but then you can configure the default parameters like say you can configure the group by value you can configure the subgrid you can configure the grid but the whole purpose of this video is to show you how to enable the editable grid now once you're done with this make sure that you save the record and once this entity or the table is updated you can go ahead and publish your customization it might take a couple of minutes uh, and once you're done with it just click on publish and this information will be uh, published so publishing customization it might take again a minute or two and once it is done we can just refresh the application so let me do a hard refresh so empty cache and hard refresh and now as you see over here I get that editable view interface right because that's a default I have an option to switch to read only grid so I can go to read only grid which was there earlier but now I can see this editable grid now why I was not seeing this option show as because there is only two items but here there are three items and that's why I can see the show as but if we enable other items over here so if we say that in controls I want other items so if I click on add control and I will add power apps grid control power apps read only control so let me add a couple of controls and now let me click on save and once it is saved I will publish the changes now if we have uh, two or more item or three or more item then it will show that option as show as in the drop down so currently it is not shown over here in aircraft model you just see editable grid but as we enable all this other controls it should show the button so as you see over here it has shown the button and now all these controls are within this particular command bar so if I click on show as editable grid, I will be able to edit this record. So I'll just say going USA. Okay. And created on this field, you cannot change uh, because uh, this is like kind of a read only field. This is like an auditing information. Uh, but any field which is editable, yes, you can do and make the change. You can even configure the group by. So I'll just say group by name uh, and then you get various option to search okay you get a jump bar uh, you can configure you can uh, navigate to the page or if you do not want group by just click on group by no grouping once you select an item you have an option to navigate to the records so if i click over here i can navigate to the record itself so that's it folks this is how you basically enable uh, the editable grid within power apps thanks for watching